Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for my latest metal detecting adventure. Although I did an intro and a closing out in the field for this video, which I will show you, I want to stress that you should watch it to the end. Because, you know, I went back to the field where I didn't know at the time, but I found this amazing huge chunk of gold, 14 carat, just shy of an ounce. Uh, so I went back to that field to explore a bit more, found some really cool um, old coins, um, one in particular that you'll see. And another thing happened where I got home only after the fact, days after the fact, um, I discovered that I found something really remarkable, huge chunk of silver. So please watch till the end so that you can see that because unfortunately I did not catch it on a live dig or I didn't film it because I didn't think it was much of anything when I found it. So enjoy the video and uh, keep watching. Hey everybody, I am back at the horse farm that was so good to me and James last time we were here. James is with me. I found the giant gold nugget. James found a capped bus dime. He also found a New Jersey copper, a one real folded perfectly in half. So we're gonna go out and see what else we can find today. It's chilly, it's cloudy, but the horses are here to keep us company. One thing we know for sure, we're going to dig a lot of aluminum and probably a lot of foil. There's tons of it. This property has no hot spots, so it's just a matter of wandering and hoping your coil gets over the right signal. So I'm going to try to film a lot of live digs, but it's going to get daunting, so hopefully one of them will be something good. All right, let's see how I do. All right, I got a nice deep 80 signal. Um, you can see it's deep because of the XY screen's not full. And I've got audio response up to four. When it's three, it's even fainter. But let's take a look and a listen. You see that XY screen? There we go. There he is. Still way down there. All right, I got it out. I think. Can't think I got it out. You. is just a really deep piece of garbage. That's unfortunate. I've got a solid 93 and considering I'm using the X35 coil at ID norm, that's pretty high. So let's see if it's too good to be true. It probably is, but I'm going to go for it. Still in there. Still in there. I'll give it one more dig and then I'll go in with the pinpointer. Got a root. Oh no. That's why. <laughs> It was so loud and big, big can, gee. Well, at least the horses won't have to, it's not a Coke can, it's like an old tin or something like that. That's disappointing. All right, just got me a buffalo nickel here. The sand down here really does a nice job of preserving everything. Really nice. The five cents is pretty clear. See if I can get a date off of it. Um, but, all right. It's a good coin. All right. I have a banging 95. It's really shallow. You can hear by the tone of it. But I'm going to dig it anyway. And uh, hopefully it's something good. Look at that. Perfect 95. Please be something good. Okay, it should 
being the plug. Yep. I probably could have just gone straight with the pin pointer, but I wanted to dig it. Huh, well, it's a coin and it's a quarter. Not silver, unfortunately, but it is a coin. Just came, coming to say hi to my friend over here. How you doing? I'm gonna get on that side of the fence with you very soon. You just hanging out? You gonna bring me some luck? Yeah? Let's do this. I've had no luck with live digs today. But I got a good signal. I'm gonna try again and see what happens. See, nice little short. 84, 83, let's see what we got. I think I may have moved it out to the top edge, let's see. Maybe not. I think it's uh, deeper. Nah, now I'm getting a signal. Oh, it is a coin, but I believe it's just. What do we got? Oh, it's a weed penny. Okay. My second for the day, I believe. All right, I'll take that. That right there is the deepest bale seal I have ever found. Now, just to give you an idea how deep that was, and it was barely a whisper. Look at this. Look how much that's in there. And it picked it up right at the bottom of the hole. That's pretty impressive. All right, I'm gonna keep going. All right, so I'm running um, three audio responses. I'm getting a faint signal, but I want you to hear what it sounds like when you up audio response all the way to six, seven, and then again, all the way down to one. It's a good example of how audio response is an indicator of depth if you have it on the lower numbers, but if you have it on the higher numbers, you're just gonna hear everything almost equally. So let's start off at three and then I'll go up and then I'll go down. So here it is at three. Just a nice little whisper, right? That's telling me it's deep. You can also see correspondingly on the XY screen, it's not a huge line, right? It's saying 92, 93, 94. Now, if I go in and I bump audio response up to seven, sorry, I was running four, not three. See how loud that is now? Seven is often very um, crackly, so I never really go up that high, but six should be a little bit more stable. Now, conversely, if I go all the way down to one, look at that little whisper. So I don't usually run it that low. Um, I want a little bit of help. So I'm usually at three or four. Three on a junky home site, four on a farm field like this. So, hey, let's dig it up and see what we got. Oh, as I expected. I think it's still down there. Let's get the MI6 out. There we are. Get it. Here's a better angle. Almost down, to a little less than the size of the pinpointer. Oh, come on. 
What is a penny doing that deep? A memorial penny, no less. 1970. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope that helps you understand a little bit about how audio response works. Um, okay, hopefully I'll find something older than that. Wait, let, let's let's see. James is calling me over because he thought he had something really good. Then upon further inspection, he realized, oh, no, 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 don't come over. But this happens to all of us. So let's get a look at what he saw and what he thought. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I thought I had something and it's, it's just ironic. Look at that. Look at that from this angle. Okay, I see a round indent in the dirt. Right there. That's, that's actually it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, so, so is it just a penny? Well, so it looks it, it looks nice and thin, right? Yeah. But when I looked close, it's a dime. It's a dime? Yeah. Uh, that's the <laughs> darkest dime I've ever seen in my life. Uh, it it looks so beautifully like tarnished silver. Let me see. And uh, it was a '92. Okay. Which you know a real would come up with. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not always great stuff, but hysterical nonetheless. Oh well. <laughs> you have to laugh or you'll cry. Cool. And here it is. It is round. Now, is it a modern penny? Is it an old penny? Is it a button? Let's see if we can get any kind of detail off of this. really tell if I had a guess I would guess an Indian head penny let me see if I can clean it off a little bit and see if that reveals anything serves me right for not doing a live dig on everything this was sort of deep not too bad I think it was on its side you can see here Let's do a straight up here, real reality check. So, again, not crazy deep, but it was a whisper mid 80s. Is this, could it be half real? Could it be a seated? This is not too far where James found his cap to bust. It looks pretty smooth, I can already see. So, let's. Oh, come on, you gotta give me some detail on here. Oh. I see a 17, I see a 7, 1, 7, 9, 0, I think. <laughs> yes, let's see the back. Hello, Spanish silver. Ha 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 then. I am well chuffed, chuffed to bits with that one. Sweet. All right. Well, that's all she wrote. That is not all she wrote. Keep watching till the end. You know, I'm glad I got that one good find, that Real. Um, it's just, you know, when you go out for hours and hours, the mantra is, you know, let's get that one good find so it makes the day worth it. So I got that and I'm very happy with it. Otherwise, slow going. This property is an enigma. I, we're kind of thinking that maybe it was filled and it just brought some good stuff with it because there's no hot spots. There's no rhyme or reason as to where anything is. And there's a lot of trash. So it's just a matter of weeding through it, but there is good stuff out there. Uh, hopefully my quick uh, audio response tip helped you out. I was gonna do a whole video on it, but really not much to it. It is what it is. So I will say that it will work the same way for a large target versus a small target. So a fainter signal for a smaller target, a louder signal for a larger target. So it's really the height the depth and the size of the target that's going to indicate the sound and your settings will tell you if it's going to be a whisper or if you're just gonna have everything banging. So uh, next time we'll get out, hopefully we'll have a much more fruitful day, but again, super happy with the Spanish silver. Can't really complain about that. So until next time. Okay, so I mentioned that I found something. I didn't realize I found something really cool and I did. So when I was out in the field, I found 
what I, was apparent to me, it was a napkin ring, right? But it was brown, it was totally encrusted. I just figured it was an old piece of brass, plain, no markings, whatever. Threw it in my pouch, brought it home. And what I do with most things like that is I throw it in the tumbler. Um, got a video on my tumbling experience if you'd like to see that. Um, but yeah, I threw it in the tumbler with some gravel and some clad and some other odds and ends. And then I kind of just let it sit there for a couple of days because I wasn't too anxious to, to see anything. So the other day when I was opening it, I could not believe what I saw. First, I saw this piece of shininess staring back at me. And it was just really blank, plain. But I said, oh, huh, look at how that, uh, look at how that napkin ring cleaned up. And then I inspected it a little farther and boom. Beautiful engraving, monogrammed. I, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, so I, I think it's Victorian era based on the maker. And um, I mean, I would never normally throw silver in my tumbler, but I didn't think it was silver. I didn't think it was anything much. And I'm glad I only ran it for two hours and not three or four like I normally do, but it came out pristine. It came out beautiful. So I not only got the 1790 half real that day, I also got this beautiful piece. So I am really excited. Chuck the bits as my friends would say over in England. Um, so that's just, again, another lesson. Don't throw anything out until you're certain it's trash. Um, cause this is one of those things that's going to be a nice display for me. So we'll go to some more farms in the future, have more tips on the XP Deus coming up and, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please like, please subscribe, comment below if you'd like. It makes me feel good. Work hard on this stuff. So cool. Until next time.